So here we go, lightweight action here at Fight UK 7. Semi-pro between Dave Lever making his debut from the Mortal MMA in the black shorts and Bushido's Mark Stretter in the white and red shorts with a 1-0 record. And already it seems both fighters want to have this stood up. Stretter looks incredibly technical. I like the head movement to set up that kick, Rob. Yeah, Lever for me looking a little bit more excitable. Stretter looks like a well-conditioned pro he looks calm he looks technical he looks very very focused I really like his style I really like the way he looks there's that leg kick nicely and obviously training at the Bushido gym you know he's gonna have a, a lot of very high level guys to train with Strata for me looking the ranger of the two and that's why he's using those kicks so well oh it's a nice use of the tie clinch there got the plumb locked in Knee straight at the middle, but credit to Levy, he knew exactly what he needed to do. Went for the double, didn't quite have it. Nice right, pummels for the single. For me, Stredder, keep this up right, keep it where it's comfortable. And with the range he's got as well, Rob, he'd be very well served. It's not just the fact that he's the taller fighter with a reach advantage. Stredder showing excellent use of the kicks, and that's one of the big weapons of the taller fighters. Because immediately you're entering into a range where you can hit your opponent and your opponent can't hit you. Good work again, use of that plumb clinch. You can hear Stredder's corner calling, knee to the legs, and as they do so, he does so. A very underutilized weapon that in a lot of these fights. Incredibly painful on repetition and with the better fighters, what you see they're able to do is repeatedly throw the knees to the same spot. It really hurts and really limits the movement and mobility. Lever again looking to go down for that leg, single leg takedown. Doesn't quite get it. And Lever to his credit, Rob, not being overawed by the situation. Understands that maybe the strike in a Stredder is a little more technical, so he's doing what he needs to do, which is keep the fight up and close. And keep his man working hard, trying for a sacrifice throw, but didn't quite have it. Straight back up to his feet. Oh, and there's a nice lead right. Stridder looks very, very sharp on his feet. It's obvious what Lever wants to do and needs to do. And I think Stridder can read the fact that his man doesn't want any part of him on the feet. Oh, a nice leg kick there. Stridder really seems to be finding his rhythm now. He locks the clinch, plum clinch in once again. It's the end of a very, very technical first round in a lot of respects, Rob. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that, that's some of the most impressive striking we've seen so far tonight. Strader, for me, looks incredibly technical. Lever, though, credit to Lever. He's done very, very well in tying his opponent up, not giving Strader the range that he needed throughout the fight. It'll be very interesting to see how this works throughout the second. Let's be honest, it's a, it's a clear clash of Scott styles, excuse me, and an equally clear clash of game plans. Stredder knows what he needs to do. And as you say, Rob, um, the thing that's impressed me about Stredder is the, the calmness for a man who's only had one fight, fighting here at uh, Fight UK 7 under amateur rules. Incredible, incredible calmness. And that'll serve him well. One of those big cage nerves we see so often and that big rush of adrenaline interestingly enough that maybe we see that Dave Lever will have this as his debut so he'll have that big rush of adrenaline when he gets in there and he sees the cage door close for the first time James leg kicks, Stratter looks to flick it high. Stratter nice to the body. Even looking on, trying to pick shots of his own. Looks for the takedown. Telegraphs it, Stratter able to deal with it comfortably. Catches the leg. Lever smiling, almost trying to taunt his opponent. Stratter looking to pick and move a little bit, shows a nice head movement, big knee to the body. Beautiful technique. 
Fedor's clinch work is relentless. Fires a nice knee to the body there. To me, Strida looks very, very comfortable upright. Lever needs to take this fight to ground. Lever jumping to try and pull guard. It doesn't seem as if he didn't have a guillotine or technique of that fashion. He just seemed to try and get the fight to the ground by pulling guard. And now he's going to work. Maybe this is where he'll want it to be. Goes for the leg, doesn't quite get it. He's got to be careful leaning forward as he goes in. Should have done a good job, fired a knee straight down the middle. But Lever leaning forward like that, he's got to be very, very careful of being susceptible to that knee. Almost doubles the impact as he comes in. And he's got to be careful as well, Rob, of leaving that left hand low. That's right, he's almost firing that jab then, just for the sake of it. Oh, and there's a nice one too. Lever again looking for that takedown. Trying to get that low single. Lever trying to pull the fight down. Trying to get his opponent to the floor, but Shredder showing good strength, just moves his opponent away. Oh, and there's a nice straight right, right down the pipe. Oh, Beautiful huge leg load. kicks, flicks it up. This is some very, very impressive striking we're seeing here, Rob, from Mark Stretta. He's got his man flinching when he throws his face as a nice head kick. Beautiful. Lever in trouble now. The hands are low. Stretta's just picking his shots. This is target practice. Good control. The end of the first round that in a lot of respects almost went exactly the same as the second did. Mark Stretter, incredibly technical strikes for this level. That's right, show him fantastic composure. His ability to do any shoots and the takedown attempts from Neva. Third and final round here. This encounter between Dave Lever and the Black Shorts. And Bushido's Mark Stretter. He's really put on a clinic in the first two rounds. A whole plethora of effective striking as a Superman ambitious over the top, but he's got to be careful as Lever. Leave his hands low. Lever relentless though, keeps coming forward. Here's what he needs to do. A nice kick to the body. A quick time out there as his mouth guard came out and there's a huge shot coming in over the top. Strader again just picking away. As you said earlier, Ben, it's almost like target practice got the range and the technique. I believe he's really struggling to deal with this technical striking. Mark Stretta just like a sniper picking his man off one shot at a time. Just out of the range of his opponent when he throws it. I'd like to see Stretta throw a bit more though Ben. He's very technical but punches in bunches would be nice. So that's where he's shown that power up once again. Clinch situations. 
And being the taller fighter, we probably should have expected him to have a lot of joy in the clinch. And he's obviously not got as far to travel. And there we see one fly straight up the middle and out of the body. But Dave Lever, let's give him a lot of credit. Game as they come, relentless in coming forward. That's right, looks very, very solid. He's taken some huge shots. Feeling that Mark Strader almost feels confident that he's won this. Oh, there's a nice over the top. Lovely how he dipped the shoulder there and just fired that right down the pipe. Chopping leg kick. We hear his corner say, throw with a bit of power. A little bit of intent there, there's a nice pushing kick. Lever still there, still coming forward. Still in the pocket. He's shown a willingness to, despite absorbing some huge punches. Once again, swept live from his forehead as Strader catches him with a clipping hook. Where do we see the body? of Lever, especially down the right side, incredibly bruised, left side, excuse me. Lever knows what he needs to do, but it doesn't look like he's got the tools to be able to do it. Mark Stretter, confident in what he's done. Nine seconds in the round, and I think that's quite a convincing victory for Stretter. For me, though, Ben, I'd have liked to have seen him finish the fight. He certainly had the ability, he certainly had the technique to, but like you say, I think he just missed landing that one shot, maybe that one definitive shot that had enough pop on it to take his man out. And a lot of that can be attributed to how game Dave Lieber was. Never stopped coming forward, soaked up the punishment, tried to get the takedown where he could, but it was straight of strength, and particularly a strength in the clinch that meant he wasn't really able to be taken down. And as soon as Strader was able to isolate it in an almost purely standing fight, he was always going to have the advantage.